Hello, Libra. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate your presence. We're going to be starting with the Angel Answer Oracle card. This card is going to answer whatever question you have at the end of the reading. So I don't even look at it in the beginning. Let's go to the Romance Angels. Have some idea what's going on. Oh, and the card went flying. Sorry, Libra. Oh, interestingly enough, another, I'm trying to remember who else got this. Give your relationship a chance. I think it was Capricorn. Work on your partnership. Let's see. What do we need to know? Libra's in my chart, and I seem to identify very strongly with it, so I always claim the Libra reading. Let's see here. Libra. What is Libra not? No, 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 no. So glad I can speak English, huh, Libra? Does Libra need to know? Okay, move on to the other deck. <laughs> I have all the decks with me, but I'm sticking to these two as usual here. Let's see. Two now. Libra need to know. So we're giving relationship a chance, but they're not going to tell us anything else. Okay, that's really weird. Haven't had that happen where I've gone through two decks. I'm so, I seriously apologize. Um, I think maybe they're just so used to me using the three decks that their message is, yeah, say, strange, isn't it? Yeah, Libra, the four of cups and the nine of cups. This to me says you are, there is an offer and you're, you, this to me says don't, okay, this is going to sound strange. I don't know how to explain it. The nine of cups is the wish card. This talks about making a wish. The four of cups is about being afraid of, about missing an opportunity. And you don't see you don't realize that you have this opportunity. I feel like this is saying that you don't realize that you are getting what you wished for. Does that sound crazy? It's kind of a weird sound, but I understand what it means. I just don't know that I'm doing it justice. So this to me means that you may not think that the relationship you're in is what you wanted. But I'm going to ask you to do is to think back when you were thinking, I really want a relationship that blah, 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 blah. You fill in the blanks for you. Is this what you wanted, maybe? Now, I was listening to a, uh, a book. Uh, it's called Attached, and it was suggested to me by a professional. And it's very interesting, and it talked about how, uh, some pe how people attach differently. And sometimes we accept what we think we should accept, because in today's day and age, everybody is so sure that we need to be independent and nobody wants to be quote unquote needy but I feel like this is talking to those of us who do get anxious when someone isn't there and then we think we are needy but it's not that you're needy it's what you need and who's to say that's not okay and then this is what you get the nine of wands you get the defensive because here we are in the same predicament again and I'm defending myself. I've been hurt. I haven't gotten what I wanted. And once again, I'm defensive because now someone is thinking that you've overly attached. So I think that the, I think I know what the answer is. And this is, wow. I really would like to title ours. I've been going with weekly love, but this one, wow. This one has to do with the anxious attached versus the avoidant attachment. Can you give me some, give us some more clarity for, or, or an answer, how to, how to deal, how do we do this? How, whoa, do we do this? How do we do this? Right, Libra? <laughs> Be the page of swords. Libra, it's about being us. Be quick-witted. Be, do what you want to do. Um, it could also, just so you know, it could mean that we're dealing with somebody who's younger than us, who's an air sign. Or we are the younger air sign in the relationship. Or maybe it's just about being quick-witted and very youthful and uh, mindfully quick. I feel like this. what this is saying is use your intelligence. Because maybe maybe we're over-analyzing. Oh, I'm going to do what I did. wasn't going to do. <laughs> Any more cards? Any more suggestions as to how to do this? Woo! Okay, 
Well, now you got a bunch of cards I don't normally take, but here we go. You ready? Page of Wands. This is that new passionate start. So maybe what this is saying, we're going to see how this goes, is if you are yourself the Page of Swords and your mind, I don't know about you, but it, like I have Gemini too, so I'm very, uh, I, I like to be quick-witted. I like to think about things, and I think that you probably are too if you're here. And this is talking about a passionate new start. Once again, we got the Four of Cups. This to me is saying that you don't realize what you've got with the devil. Okay, so maybe you don't realize what you've got and maybe it's because you're only seeing the bad. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. The devil can also talk about codependence or addictions. So maybe, you know, that's going to sound strange. If you minus those things out, you know, the Five of Cups is winning at all costs. You can minus those things out or you can say, here they are. I'm going to accept them. And I know that's not what the Five of Swords is, but that's what I'm getting from this. This is, I can accept what I've got or, and keep moving, or I can, you know, decide that this isn't what I want. This is, it's a really interesting thing to me because I feel like the Devil and the Five of Swords go together. You know, are you okay with accepting this? Are you accepting of winning at all costs? Is this person truly your wish fulfillment? Are you okay to accept the other things? Ace of Wands. There's that spark again. And moving on to calmer shores. So, wow. Because now that I look at this, here, here we go. Give your relationship a chance. So this is talking to a Libra who needs to possibly not make that decision to walk away. Feeling you don't have it all, that four of cups. There's something missing. But it came out with the, with the wish, for, wish card. So you make a wish. I think it has to do with, like I said, that feeling of accepting what wasn't acceptable. And now what you have to do is just be yourself. Do what you want to do. Be quick-witted, you know, and maybe this, what this does is this spurs a new start. But even though it starts a new start, you have to wonder, are you starting a new start with the devil? Are you starting it with a new start? Or do you want to say, you know what, I'm not accepting the fact that I'm only getting three of my four cups and cut, cut your losses and go for a new start, which would put you on a calmer path. So there's two readings here. There are going to be some of you. I feel like there's a, there's a large portion of you who really do want to make this relationship work. But then there's going to be a portion of you who are going to say, am I losing myself? Because no matter, it's almost like you're doing a lot of the work and you're working to accept what may have been unacceptable. So is it time to walk away or isn't it? So very much your decision. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to make a decision. But if you are dealing with someone who's got some red flag uh, issues, um, keep in mind that there is, in two different places, there are the Four of Cups. So are you afraid of missing out on a relationship? Are you afraid enough of missing out on a relationship that you're willing to accept what you may not really want to accept? And being defensive. It, to me, it's almost like saying, like, there's a possibility you can turn this around. I'm going to ask, I can't believe I'm doing this. Libra, it's because I love you and you guys have been so good to me. What, a suggestion for Libra. Suggestions for Libra, for their best and highest good. Suggestion for Libra, how do they get to the Six of Swords? I just want something more concise because it's so all over the place. <laughs> Love offer, Knight of Cups. This to me is saying that you need to think about this. And I say that because he's only got one paw, one paw, one hoof in the water. It's not going to give us an answer. This is truly, it's your, it's your thing. Who do you think deserves, and I hate to say it that way, but that's how I feel, uh, your cup of love? 
who is allowing you to be you. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in a good way. Some people overshadow us because we do tend to be nice. So, sorry, Libra. I feel like I asked more questions than I answered. But think about it, okay? So here is your angel answer card. And this is my angel answer card too. I have a question in my head. Here's the answer. Ask for help from others. <laughs> I don't like this card. Ask for help from others. I feel like this is saying, do you have a trusted friend that would give you the honest truth? You know, how do they see this devil? This could be very negative energy that you're trying to work with. And, or it could be a lesson. There's so many questions. Oh, Libra, I apologize. I really apologize. Give them a better angel answer card. Ask another question, Libra. Ask another question. Here's your other answer. Okay, here we go. For the next question for our Libras in three, two, oh, well, you get two more questions, Libra, okay? What's your next question? Improving health. What's your next question? Here's your third question. The situation will improve. So, good luck. I don't even know what to say, but thank you very much for being here. Please don't forget thumbs up. If this resonated, let me know because I'm confused. Uh, I mean, I see it, but I think I'm too close to it. Good luck. Take care. Bye.